In this video, I wanted to give you a really, really easy and simple coverage defense that you can use out of the big nickel over G to kind of hang with pretty much anything that your opponent is going to do. Now, what I mean by that is the basic premise of this tip is this is a fill out play. It's a play that you're gonna call to get a feel for what your opponent is doing, why they're doing it, and how you can combat it. Now, the way that I like to set this up is for your, your big nickel over G defense, you're gonna see here that I'm gonna actually take auto flip and I'm gonna turn that off. I'm gonna have my auto alignment set to base align. I'm gonna have my ball and air defense to play ball and my option defense are conservative. Now, why do I do those things? You might be asking. The reason why I like to do those things is because it's gonna be better for my pressures and I'm gonna have a symmetrical defense. My defense is gonna basically be symmetrical. It's, not, it's gonna be flip proof. They can't flip on me and mess with me because my setup's basically not going to change. And that is one of the beauties of the big nickel over G in my personal opinion. So how do we set up the coverage defense? Well, I'm glad you asked. So we're going to actually be utilizing um, we're actually going to be utilizing uh, the cover two for this. So that's our primary base coverage call. And I like to, when I'm setting this up, just come out in the basic uh, Tampa two. You could also come out in the cover two contain for this. I think that the cover two contain is a really, really good defense because it does give you an additional zone to your defensive tackle. If you want to use that, that is more than fine. Um, actually, I'll show you out of this today. So here's cover two contain. Now, if you take a look here, you're gonna notice that this defensive tackle is in a three red hook zone. You're also gonna notice that these linemen are on different rush angles. If I snap this ball, you're going to see that it doesn't show them on contain, but that's kind of what they're going to serve as. They're going to play a contain rush. And then the nose tackle or that, that guy over the center is going to basically be working the middle to try to get pressure at the quarterback. So that's kind of just a little bit about the coverage, a little bit about kind of the, the, the base rush. We're only gonna rush three um, or two, and it's up to you if you wanna rush three or two. Honestly, um, with the way that the game is playing right now, a lot of people are using two post-ups, and so if they're using two post-ups, I do recommend rushing three people, but if they're not using two post-ups, if they're only using one, you can get away with rushing two, and I'm gonna show you how to set this up. Now, if you wanna learn the rest of my Big Nickel Over G ebook, I would really encourage you to get into my Patreon membership. We walk you through step-by-step step how to literally bag everything with this defense. This is the best defense that I've put together all year, and it's because of what I'm about to show you. So from a setup perspective, what I like to do with this defense is we're always going to show blitz, and we're always gonna move this guy in just a little bit just to kind of mess with them to get them understanding that we can move this guy in and send some pressure. And then we're gonna bring this safety down just like this. Now from this point, um, all we're going to simply do here is we're going to shade our coverage down. We're going to put our safety on the left side of the screen in an outside third, our safety on the right side of the screen into an outside third. Our linebacker that's on a vert hook is gonna go into a deep middle third. And then lastly, what I like to do is I'm gonna go ahead and blitz my user pinch my line, crash my line out. And then this is where you can drop some zones. So what I like to do is drop a bluff blitz on the left side of the screen. And then we're going to drop our defensive end on the left side of the, or I'm sorry, we're gonna drop a bluff blitz on the right side. And then on the left side of the screen, what I typically like to do is either drop a curl flat zone or drop a vertical hook. Now I'm gonna recommend that you drop him into a curl flat zone. And then potentially what you can also do is man up that number one receiver with that backside hard flat. So you see here, something like this is kind of what I come to. And then I get, I read cloud on the outsides um, if I want to have cloud flats. If you do something like this, I recommend manning up, uh, manning up the running back or just dropping him into a vert hook. So you see, here's the gist of the coverage defense. And like I said, um, if you watch here, you're gonna see that one of our guys are going to shed up the middle. And as you can see, we're gonna get pressure. Now the Bucks have a post up. So if they only have one post up, you have two double team splitters, which is why I love this defense so much. Now, um, another thing that you can do with this is you can actually run your vertical hook from your defensive end. So if you wanted to, you could run your vertical hook from this defensive end over here. And then you can basically use her this guy and say you want this guy right here 
to drop into you know a middle third or whatever you want to put him in and then you can put that safety on the right side that's a slot corner into an outside third you can put the deep half over there on the left and an outside third now your user in the safety the reason this is good is because it shows that there are pressure threats everywhere i can send pressure off here 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 i've got so much pressure that i can send from this defense they're going to probably be blocking their tight end to be honest with you and so if they are blocking their tight end if that's something that they they are consistently doing this is a great call now when you do this one of the things i do want to suggest to you is to man up that square receiver with your middle linebacker and then drop this defender on the left side here into a hard flat the defensive end into a hard flat and then we're still going to use that vertical or three red hook now this is if they're not throwing to their tight end if their tight end is not going on a route there's really no reason to have a vert hook over there because that's the only thing they're going to be able to throw right so if they're blocking their tight end a lot this becomes a really really good setup for everything that revolves around blocking a tight end as you can see so this is a really simple um, defense to be able to you know just get some get an idea of what they want to do now i wouldn't want to leave you without any pressure today because big nick G is all about pressure and it's in my opinion the best blitzing defense in the game and so i wanted to just kind of give you a little nugget at the end here and this is one of my favorite defenses to blitz out of now um i'd like to call the ss blitz 2 for this you could do this out of cover 2 if you wanted to so if you wanted to have the cover 2 you could just do it out of cover 2 and i'll show you how to do it in this video so what we're going to do is we're going to show blitz we're going to pinch our defensive line and instead of crashing them out we're actually going to crash them down we're going to globally blitz both of our linebackers and we're going to actually leave these guys on deep halves and the reason why is because they're going to play the seams a little bit better and then we're going to blitz our slot corner and qb contain and we're going to use this guy right over the middle now if you wanted to play hard flats you certainly can here i like to play hard flats based on situation anyways what you're going to notice here is no matter what they do on offense you're going to basically guarantee yourself pressure at the quarterback thanks for watching guys the big nickel over g is my favorite defense of the game and if you want to learn exactly how i run it i would really encourage you to get into our patreon my patreon is linked in the description so if you want to sign up for it all you have to do is head down to the description of the video click on the link that i put down there and go check out the membership thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time